what are the dgca inclusions about take off performance it is important to calculate the speeds correctly that is v1 vr v2 v1 is the take off decision speed or action initiation speed okay then vr is a rotation speed and v2 is take off safety speed so these speeds need to be calculated correctly if there is any kind of an emergency before v1 which really affects the safe take off then you reject take off okay. if there is an emergency beyond that then you have to continue the take off because you will not have remaining runway to stop the airplane in the remaining distance available on the runway that's the reason why you continue the take off and rotate rotate is you get airborne you initiate the action to raise the nose of the airplane up and yeah. get airborne and then v2 is take off safety speed so in case of an engine failure you need to maintain that speed so that an airplane is still controllable despite of an engine failure so